Hi, what I'm going to show you today is top solid wood, how to draft in top solid wood, and also export into production to say Enric. Okay, so let's kick this off. Now, I'm looking at 3D here, but I'll just go to our plan. And what I'd like to show you today is how to draw from scratch. And let's start off with, say, a curved item. So what I'd like to start off with is the guideline. And here, mid-drawing, I'm going to change the circle, type in the radius. Click on this point here, and just switch back to line. So mid-drawing, you can switch. So here what I'd also like to show you is clearly from this drawing, the circle isn't connecting to the line here. But let the software do the work for you. As so. Let's assign a dimension here. Now, th these dimensions aren't just giving you information, but they're also giving you the ability to change them after also, as I'm showing you right now change that back to 150. So what you're probably used of also is front elevation, end elevation and plan. Here in top solid wood you can also create your own views. So here you can see that this is at an angle. Click on this point here, set it up like so and there you have it. So what I'd like to draw now is a few shapes. This could be my bench top auto dimension. This could be my underside or my back panel. So dimension once again. And this is what we could call a volume. And I'll show you the benefits of a volume in a few minutes. Now if you want this height to be the exact same as this, what you can very easily do afterwards is connect them or this thickness here needs to be the same as this just connect it now what I'm also going to do here is I'm just going to change my view back to this so now we can see in 3D once again and I'm just going to click on my guideline here click on my shape and sweep it out Let's do that again. Click on my guideline, click on the shape, sweep it out. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to just switch the layer there as I've done. Click on that guideline, bring it out once again. Now, if I once again change this angle, 90 degrees, it changes my draw. Change that to, say, 150. Again, it brings it in. 350 and so on okay now I've drawn this item now as well here and I've called it a volume earlier on and what I'm going to do to this volume is I'm going to make it transparent like so but I'm also going to bring it back at an angle could be 20 degrees enter there click on this front and that one there bring it back as you can see there it brought it back and the good thing about this of course it's assigned automatically a dimension 10 degrees brings it forward now if I go to some of my wood functions here as you can see we've got more centene, molding, we've got grooving some we've got drilling, pocketing you know, cam and dowel, screw, biscuiting, and so on. But here we've got a button called Constraint Block. And what that gives me the ability to do is, say for instance, click on this side here and create that shape according to the volume. So once again, if I change this to say 20 degrees, it brings it back. Now, I haven't shown you any library items or anything like that, but if I was to bring in a library item, I can actually bring it into this shape also. So let's just try that out. So I'll just click on this button here, right side, and it's asking me, top back point, click on that. 
top front point, click on this, top or bottom back point, and bring that in there. So it brings it into that volume, and there's multiple parts within that item, and it brings it into that volume, as I said. Now again, if I click on this and I change it to 10 degrees, enter, there we have it. Okay, so that's good. So let's give these items name for cutting this. So let's go back into our wood function once again and let's define multiple parts here. And as you can see from this dialog box now, you can have multiple parts and assign them at the one time. Say for instance, the names. So if we click on that, as you can see, that might be my end right hand. We'll just apply that. And this could be my top. And just apply that once again. So that's some aspects of the drawing um, within top solid. What I'd like to show you now is drafting.